Hello and welcome to another volume in the Massey Ferguson Archive series. This time we take a trip to North America, back to the late 50s and early 1960s, to see how farming techniques made use of the new range of tractors and combines that were also produced and sold here across the pond. At this period in time, Massey Ferguson were very excited about their new models and they were also rushing ahead of the competition in their continuing development of the Combine Harvester. And this splendid collection of films really demonstrates their progress. We start with a film in which we follow an American farmer's young son as he prepares to compete in a tractor driving competition and also to become a competent farmer himself in Ready for a Man's Work. The secret is in learning to guide and control all that energy under the tractor's hood. That's something he's got to know when he starts maneuvering through that obstacle course. A boy that can handle that obstacle course and all those other tractor skills sharpened up by the 4-H tractor contest, well, I sure know it's making E.B. a better farmer in the field here at home. You know, I appreciate the work of 4-H and the extension agent in helping teach E.B. I do all I can, but he sure learns a lot from 4-H projects and from activities like the tractor contest. It's more fun to learn with other boys under conditions where there's a keen sense of competition. Of course, as he practices for the tractor contest, he gets a lot of good, solid work done around the place, too. Fact is, E.B.'s growing up strong. As you can see, the American range didn't differ greatly from the British models available at the time, although there were some larger and more powerful versions available. And there are more scenes of these larger models as we go haymaking American style in our next film, Five Tons to the Acre. He can remember vividly how long it took, forkful by forkful. Hay harvesting used to be a matter of main strength and endurance. Now, one man can pack up four to five tons an hour. With a small adjustment to tighten the bale and correct size, Walter is ready to take off. At last, we'll have a chance to see one of the Thor inventions in full action. Certainly beats picking it up by hand. Bailing in the field like this is an amazing operation. Pitchforks are antiques. Walter says all he ever uses one for is to prop open the barn door. By the way, notice the odd-looking wagon. This low-slung, two-wheel carry-all will never take any prizes in a beauty contest, but it works like all the other Thor inventions. It's essential to keep the job flowing without a time-wasting break. So John's right on deck to haul each full wagon load away. And back at the barn, Uncle Charlie is all set to handle his end of this giant production line. So it'll go on. Bailing, hauling, mowing away. Walter, John, Charlie. Bailing, hauling, mowing away until the very last load is headed for home. Every man who's made hay knows exactly how it feels to see the crop finally rolling under cover, bright, clean, undamaged by rain. <laughs> 